Hard luck is on Button and Bead Beach. There's a little toothpaste lid. So I think that is a watch winder and a little mother of pearl button. Okay, I found a good metal patch with a little lid and some other things, but that. <laughs> That looks very promising. Does that look like that could be a watch? Oh gosh. Wow! Wow! Oh, I'm going to clean this because that looks promising. So I was correct. But unfortunately, the top came off, but I can put it back on. But it says Swiss made, and it's got some lots of writing on the back and maker's mark. So that's amazing. <laughs> awesome. I, we can research and date it and everything. Is it a watch? It's a watch. It's a Swiss made watch. Look at the back. It, um, it says Swiss made and look it's got all sorts of makers marks and stuff on it and this was the top. That's amazing. It's a watch. I had a coin Kate. Oh. Ooh. A coin. A coin. The coin. <laughs> oh I don't know what that coin is. I don't think it's a 5p. I think it might be older than that. <laughs> you really can't see <laughs> No, I can't see. You put it in a potato. That's how you clean. <laughs> you put it in a potato. I'm going to say it looks old, but I'm no expert, so it might be old. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Well done, you. What did you find? Yeah. Um, with paste. Oh! <gasps> oh my goodness! That's amazing! <gasps> You'll have to use it. I know. Yeah, yeah. I will. One of my artistic pieces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is oh, yeah, that's amazing! Yeah. yeah. But with the paint in it, that's yeah. Cool. Pin, button. Hmm. I've just found a tiny Wow. Wow. Oscar's found a bead. Wow. Very misshapen, it might be. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. my first bead of the day. Tiny little clay one. Ooh, hopefully there's more where that came from. It's a fish knife, which is good. What's that white thing? Is that at the end of a hat pin or a bead? Not sure. I like the, fa the fish knife. <laughs> it's a shape. It's a shape. Let's see. Oh, it's a little red faceted one. That's beautiful, Oscar. It, I, I don't know what it is. What is Thanks. it? What is that shape called? Um, it's just faceted. It doesn't really have, a, I don't think that name has a shape. It's got loads of sides, but here you go. Do you have a little box? I don't know. Okay, I can put it in mine. Look, it's a little heart. Oh. What is that? I think it's just a fixing, but it's definitely a heart. You sharpen this. <laughs> and eat fish with it. They're not sharp. Fish knives aren't sharp. 
Well, they're, they're for sort of slicing the fish. Toothpaste. Ooh, it's a pleasant bead. Oh, oh, I can see. Right, okay, this is a bit of a cheap find because uh, Kate did find it for me, um, but she knew oh, this is what I was after, so she has given me the, the vague vicinity mm. of where. No, nothing wrong with it. That is a great little find, and I'm going to claim it as my little find. That's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm like. So yeah, I don't mind accepting that as my find. Look at that. It's a button, Kate. Or like a navel button. So the crown and an anchor. I am fine, but I have been standing there for five minutes keeping guard of it while my, my camera got fixed. But it's a pipe stem. And we always love a bit of a pipe stem. So here we go. This is not on the bead. <laughs> I really thought Look that at my beads. Oh, pretty beautiful. I really thought this was a ring, but it's from like a... Yeah, I just bit that up. <laughs> Here, turn my button over. Oh, let's see if we can... Oh. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, but we're doing better on this beach than we have for a while. It's very red. Another bead. Another bead. <laughs> This isn't even the bead patch. Yeah, this isn't even the beady bit. <laughs> Love a fork. <laughs> fork. Here, Oscar's found a button. Nice. They're going to call this button and bead. Button bead beach. Button and bead beach. Button and bead beach. Button and bead beach. Oh, it's a little orange one. Yeah, it's, I think it's red. It's another oh. red clear faceted one. Almost pink. And then what's this over here? Oh, that's a button or a tidy coin? Oh. I think it might be a battery or something. Oh. <laughs> so there's this, which could be something exciting, and it, or it could be nothing. It sort of looks like an acorn top. Hmm. What is that? It sort of looks like a lid, but it's... I don't know what it is. Mystery. But it does look like the top of an egg. What is that? It's exciting. Let me turn the camera on. Now I've took my eye off it. Oh no, that's dangerous. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. It's directly in front of me. Oh, Please. yeah, I can see it. It's quite a big one, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have seen it. Yeah, look at that. This little pearlescent one. Right, so you tell me about that bead because I know nothing about beads. It's probably 1920s. Most of this stuff is 1920s. Yeah. Anything about the colour of it, just pearlescent. Yeah. Right, I think I had a bit more knowledge than that. <laughs> 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 to be fair, to be fair, I thought you were going to say a little bit more about that than the obvious. Uh, be beads are really hard. It's pearlescent, it's glass, no, it's. Right, so there you go. <laughs> yes, Kate, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I found a bead. See your eyes in now. Oh, I see it from here, the red one. That one. That's what you want. No, you're pointing at that. <laughs> Me, I saw that. That's it. I'm on the roll. You are. You're, maybe we should have a bead competition. No, don't have a competition. <laughs> no. You've won already. <laughs> That piece of flint really looked like a kiln stilt. Yeah, you found a kiln stilt. I think I have. I don't know. We've never see. found one before. I think I found. Yeah, oh yeah, that is that is part of. Yeah. I've never found one before. What do you think? How cool is that? Have we not found one before? I've never found one. Oh, I think I might have found one before. On the Thames.
What is that? What is that? <gasps> Kate! It's complete! I lost his tail! just poking out. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Can you see it? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a oh, great little find. She's got boobies. We've been demonetized. I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got heads that will fit her really well. Yeah. Collar stud. Always great for craft. This isn't meant to be a cat. Oh gosh. But it really looks like a cat with eyelashes. <laughs> and there's a little foot, little leg. Bone disc. That one I think is a button form. It's a cute little lid or stopper ceramic i think and underneath it it's a little body <laughs> cabochon ah or a button it might be a button with a missing a shank beautiful half a red bead Cute. <laughs> Sarah's found a head. That's an adorable head. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a great find. Oh my gosh. Thank you. There's no baby yet. No. That's a bone disc. Didn't think I'd find a bone disc here. And a couple of weird shaped things. The end of a thermo th th uh, thermometer. And maybe a melted collar stud. What is this? It's a shell. Oh, look, it's a shell. End of a shell, bead or button. Black one. Maybe like a bigger one than this. A little green glass button. What is that? Oh my goodness! Oh, do you see what it says on the back? It says the Oxodo protective locket. <gasps> what is that? I oh. have no idea. It looks sort of Japanese, like Native American. Oh, well, it's Japanese. <laughs> I was going to say, I like oh, okay. that little figure I found. Okay, I'm going to have to quickly Google on my phone what an Oxodo protective locket is. That's amazing! Oh my goodness! That is. So apparently, these were made by Dr. Goodfellow, who was a medical officer of health for Brampton and Walton until 1911. Um, appointed by James Pearson, uh, known locally as known locally, <laughs> known locally as Derbyshire Neck. It was prevalent in a disorder of the thyroid gland. It was a deficiency of iodine in the soil at the time when most food was produced locally. This led to local chemists selling iodized salt to add iodine to the diet. This, he was also given as iodine as an aerial disinfectant to combat infections such as influenza. Old, uh, he was able to launch the Oxo, Oxodo locket in 1932. Iodine vapour was released slowly through the porous openings. Like, they were designed to be worn under clothes and also hung in public buildings such as banks and cinemas or buses and even from trees. And it says, the concentrated essence of sea breeze. <gasps> That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, you would have worn them. 
to get salts and iodine. Wow, that is an amazing find. Tiniest bit of Bartman. There's a, a button here. And then this looks promising, but I can't tell if it's just like a corroded or something or if it's something else. Oh, it's something else. Look, it's metal with a little like paste gem inside. Oh, it's got gems all around the outside too. This all there, oh sorry. There are clear gems all around the outside too. That's beautiful, look at that. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Do we think that is going to be a bead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I found a bead, thank goodness. It's a tiny, tiny little red bead. But it's a bead. Yes. It's an another owl. bead. It an owl. Oh, it's broken. It's still lovely though. That's a chunky one. I think that might be a worn daddy sauce stopper. It is really worn. That's lovely. It's a very wafer thin mother pearl. That is part definitely of a reflector. Look at the colour, it looks like jelly. <laughs> it's a leg! <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, that's a pretty leg. leg. Oh, it's all speckled. <gasps> lovely. It's been ages since found we found a, a little leg. leg. Yeah. <sighs> it was in mud pies, I think, wasn't it? I think so. I picked that up and didn't realise it said hot. It faded, but it obviously said hot. Oh, I love those. <laughs> I've got, I found, a, I think oh. it's a claw. Is it a claw? Ah. Is it a claw? Was it just yes, a weird flower? <laughs> Tiny little pot. Tiny little pot. <laughs> and a key. And a key. On the they're not that exciting, but they're quite cool. A little bright turquoise bead. I'm pretty sure that's a Niger bead. Oh, that is definitely a Niger bead. That's really weird. I just <laughs> said it. <laughs> Oh, that's really sad. Still got very red lips, though. Yeah, I got one like that. I got a daddy's one. Ooh. It's an old one. Oh, it's white inside. That's really old. Is it glass on the outside? Yeah. Wow. Ooh, yeah. That's lovely. It's a really nice bead. Uranium? Uranium, I didn't bring a torch. No, oh, it looks a bit uranium y. Oh, yeah. The nice. plaster one. Yes, clay one. That. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a bead. No. That's a bead. Wow, that's like a blackberry. It's like a blackberry or like a pine cone or. Whoa. That is such a cool bead. This beach is the best bead. Like that. that is incredible. <gasps> that really oh. looks like a blackberry. I have blackberry earrings. I could just make that into a necklace and have, we have, to, have, you, have a set. you have to film it. The blackberries are coming out. You have to film <gasps> yes. it next to it. Yeah. Wow, that's an incredible bead. I love that. <laughs> Button, isn't it? Oh, no, but it's just plain. Uh. Lovely, though. It's like a cross section instead, like, it's a cross on it. Love. Broken bead. 
black bead, a little black bead. Is it a gem or a bead? Oh, it's a gem. Ooh. It's a cabochon. Lovely, and actually, if you look. Oh, there's a pink bead. Tiny, tiny pink bead. Lovely. Tiny little blue bead. Lovely turquoise one. I'm going to go for oh, this picture. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got a bit of newspaper. Oh, well, your piece of newspaper. mine says steel and noise. Mine says Violet Boy. Violet? Ooh. No, it says it says Toilet Boy. Toilet Roy. Toilet. <laughs> Toilet Roy. <laughs> Don't know. I should put my glasses on. Uh, brown and crisp both sides. Toilet Roy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wonder what that means. Oh no, fry until brown and crisp both sides. Oh, the beautiful little flower. Two beads. It's a little carved Niger one, I think. And a little faceted one. Oh, beautiful. They're very similar. That one's probably a Niger, isn't Niger it? and probably um, UV. with his tripod looking off. You look perfect. It's a yellow bead. It's going to be half of a beautiful bead. Now what's that? It's a tiny little red bead. That looks beautiful. Oh, I think that's some French jet black glass jewelry. Lovely that is. Wow. And there's a tiny tile. She might be quite good as like for the doorstep of our doll's house. but it's kind of interesting <laughs> yeah I said I found these I know that's that beard I don't know oh. or it could be part of the that's a lot bigger than my piece come all the way here to get a bit of Bartman how weird tiny tiny blue bead weird one that's a beautiful mother of pearl disc I imagine that would have been in jewellery like an insect. That is beautiful. Little men. It's like a little flower. I think it is. You could just put that in a pot and put it in the doll's house. Talking of doll's house, that would make a really lovely wall sconce. In like a lampshade. Is it going to be complete? No. So I just randomly picked up this blob of metal because it looked interesting and when I turned it round I realised it's a little man on a bike. I think he's a bike, I think it's just on a cycle, like a cyclist with a helmet on. How cool is that? <laughs> Imagine it probably would have been a perfume bottle. Maybe Avon. Me and Oscar have been sat here snacking for ages and I've been searching in for it and I've just seen this! Look! Oh my 
gosh. <laughs> a tiny little emotionless face. Dead eyes. Oh, I absolutely love it though. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. I hadn't found a face. It's cute, isn't it? And I think I've just seen also... Where was it? It's poking out of all this... Oh. Can you see... Oh yeah, careful, that's like from a light bulb or a syringe. <laughs> Where was it that I was looking at? <sighs> ah, yes, here it is. Oh, it's broken, but that's alright. I'm going to get out of that um, memory, but it's a Reeves School paint palette. And a small palm olive lid or knob. I'll film you filming me. <laughs> For ourselves, okay. We're on our way back to Cape. Uh huh. Down there. What we're going to do is we're going to say our best two finds on our way back there now, okay? I'm not going to find anything now. <laughs> be, be anything. It doesn't have to be anything fantastic, but just nice little finds. Only two. Okay. Okay. But if I, I can pick up more than two, can I get it? <laughs> right, so, yeah. Our best two finds from here. Back to Kate. Okay. Okay, challenge accepted. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> a tiny, oh, I think there's a tiny Niger bead. I found a bead. <laughs> oh, there you go, you <laughs> oh, it's just a black morning button. Oh, that's quite nice, it's smoothed. Little face. Oh, look. That's a tiny little flower button. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. It's a curly blue bead, I think. Do you know what I found that I said would be a couple we could make it um oh but my pockets are so full. He's Oscar is um being envious of Nick's drone. Oh is it better than it's ours? Much better than ours. Oh I think it's a little bird. I think it's a willow pattern bird, but he's just been cut out with the blobby tree. Look. Tiny, tiny, tiny blue bead. That's a really nice bead. You can see where it's spun. And the sun's come out. That's lovely, yeah. Yeah. Nice little medicine. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, is this agate, Mum? Have I just found some banded agate? Oh, yes, I think you have. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. it's a random place to find it. Yeah. Oh, yes, Good it is for beautiful. the dolls. See, I don't know about agates and things like that, so I wouldn't know what I was looking for. It's like a little, like the banding. Oh, right, okay. And the, the colours sort of. <laughs> I don't we know don't anything know about agates either, it. but I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure that yeah. is agate, yeah. Oh, right, lovely. I know people make jewellery out of it. Yeah. And do we think this is another piece of sample glass, ma'am? Just because it doesn't have any writing on it this time. Oh, it's this little square one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same size. Last time we were here, we found a piece of sample glass with like initials scrapped oh, into yeah, it okay. as like a salesman's. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. A sneaky bead down here. Ooh, it's beautiful, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Just found a pipe, well, part of a pipe bowl. I think it's a bead. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know I would have seen that. <laughs> I found a clear one of those actually. Yeah, it's not here. Mm. But yeah, that's lovely. That's a lovely find. It's got a box now. I think I just found something very exciting. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow. I think uh, pro everyone will probably recognise. But look, it's one of those Czech glass beads. The Northern Mudlucks found a red one. Uh, Remember? And I found it's a there. It's a little. Check no, just check. Bead with the flower. That's lovely. On. That's nice. That's what I like. I've been here as well. <laughs> oh, Mick. Annoying. I know I'm distracted by a drone. <laughs> Great stuff.
And look, just here again, hidden, oh. is another little like drop, drop. glass frosted drop. Mm. Oh, this is the beautiful glass bit. We'll just sit here then. Oh, it might be hair. Is it a nose? No, look, there it is. It's a nose and a mouth. <gasps> it's a nose and a mouth. No. Oh. No. Yeah, keep. This is a real shame that it's broken. Oh. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> it's very recognisable. <laughs> what is it with me and funky shaped beads today? Wow. Big funky well, shaped beads. Milk. Yeah. My brain is not letting me know at this particular moment. It's awesome though. <laughs> Looks very spacey. It does. Some more tiny newspaper. What does this say this time? It says scope, rent, borrow, probably Tottenham. Fifty-five pounds. That looks like a piece of clay pipe. Oh my goodness, it is. It is the buffalo off of an RAOB pipe, a Royal Antilivian Order of the Buffalo. Hello. No. <laughs> Another one. We must almost be ready for... Oh, broken again. We must almost be ready for our project with these. Is it going to have anything on? Oh! <laughs> wow. That is a very unusual button. an odd shape. <laughs> so I think that's for wire, isn't it? Is this for wire or for cotton? Could be for wire, could be for cotton. Could be like out of a battery. Mm -hmm. Or it could be... I think, well, maybe they were metal, but it could be. This is a very simple little make for the dolls house using the little flower that I found. Obviously, millipet. I'm going to make a tiny little flower in a flower pot, and there's a leaf shape that I found. And there's curly. I'm going to leave the bird degree on because it looks makes them green. There's the flower. So this probably would have been a bead, maybe a, a button, a pin, and a pot. Very simple. Let's stick the leaf in. stick and top look like dirt like texture but dirt for the middle bit to dry and I can paint the dirt brown. I think that's going to look very cute in the doll's house. And to paint. That's the next day. It's all dried. I need to paint the dirt. Use 
bit of raw umber and some black. So this was inspired by um, other doll's house plants that I've collected over the years. Um, they all have little white pots, but this one is actually handmade, I think. It's in a little pot and it's little Britain's flowers that would have been the railway set, I think, or the garden. No, I think it was a garden set. So they obviously got their little lead flowers and made a little plant for their doll's house, much the way that we're doing today. But the plants are always one of my favourite things at the doll's house. <laughs> so I'm quite excited that we can make some of our own. Hello. So that was our trip to Treasure Beach <laughs> and we actually found real treasure but someone didn't notice on the day and I didn't realise that she'd picked it up so I didn't look at it but yeah we should probably start with that find. I did say it could be gold jokingly after I'd stopped filming. <laughs> I couldn't, you know, it's too, you know. So yeah. Mum found gold, <laughs> and it is almost identical <laughs> to the gold that I found last last video. Yeah, it's yeah. a collar stud again. Yeah, it's like another little dress stud. So Mum's isn't decorated, but Mum's across the top says nine carats. <laughs> and we did the um, streak test with our acid gold kit, and it is gold. But what threw you off, which I understand, is that it was obviously at one point on some other form of metal that has corroded, but we've been like chipping it off and the corroded bit is not part of... Well it is, it was probably, the, the gold was the front of the collar stud and that was the back. Yeah, yeah. But no, there's um, like, I think there's gold underneath it. I don't know if it was part of a, like a metal, like, you know, it was melted with stuff or like it um, got, I don't know, we have to properly clean it. But we didn't realise it was gold until five literally. minutes before filming this roundup. <laughs> because I was looking at the fines. So yes. I can't read this. There's nine carat on the top. Are you in <laughs> mad? I can't. Yes, it yeah. says nine carat. <laughs> so you found gold. We I have found gold. This is my gold dance. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, we have both found gold now in the space of two videos and identical same same shape and size it's, it's unbelievable real really it it's is not... it's yeah it's absolutely it, it, ludicrous what <laughs> treasure <laughs> real treasure <laughs> so yeah, yeah. so it looks very orangey it could be rose gold it could be rose gold yeah it does look a very different color gold to mine <laughs> so yeah Gold. One day we might be rich. <laughs> one day, one day we might actually realise we find gold on the day. <laughs> Although we do have a film. Yeah, could be strangely. We have a film, another film that will be up next week, and there might also be some gold. Some gold. It's much smaller and a yes. different type of gold. But yes, that will be three films in a row when we find Maybe gold. Maybe that's it now. We're Maybe just going to find gold. Every all the trip time. we go to, we're going to find gold. <laughs> <laughs> so the other finds which we did realize what they were on the day hmm what's your favorite the bird i like my bird Will you hold it for me and all that was sticking out was his little beak and he's mostly complete he's lost the end of his tail and a bit at the base but i can 
fix him up. I think he's beautiful. I think he's beautiful. Yeah, he's absolutely lovely. Probably a little Victorian. Probably, yeah. The green woodpecker. Green woodpecker. So yeah, he will be, we'll build a millipup base so he can stand on his own and he'll just be... Make a little new tail feathers for him. Tail feathers and then he'll just be sat on our crafting mm -hmm. station. Yeah, he's lovely. <laughs> Biggest thing we've ever found there as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's my Oxodo protective locket, which is absolutely amazing. And it's in perfect condition. So you heard me read about it in the film, but there's some more information. But it's basically for people that had a lack of iodine. Iodine? Iodine. Iodine. In their in their um like their diet and their lives. So it would be filled with like salt, basically like salt water. And then the flower design the the whole locket is glazed, but this flower design on the front um, is not glazed, so it's got tiny little like porous openings, and the salt would evaporate and leak out of this um, flower. And people used to wear them around their necks, or they said hang them on trees and in banks and buses, and the salt would evaporate and you would inhale it, and it would be like being at the seaside, because in those days. Um, for all of history, the people have used going to the sea. Oh yeah, my granddad like, used to say, "Put ten, put ten years on your life." Yes, and like in Little Women and stuff. Yeah, mm. go to the seaside. It's a health benefit. So people used to wear the seaside around their necks. Just absolutely amazing. It would have had like a a top, obviously. Yeah, it's incredible. I've never seen seen one. I've never seen anything like it. And it's whole. It survived. And it's hollow. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. So yeah, Mum found three Niger Brother beads. And we've talked about the Niger Brothers and Niger Brothers. And their beautiful work and their heartbreaking story of their family. But we've built up quite a collection now. Might have to have a whole string to themselves. They might have to. And the wonderful thing about lots of Niger Brother beads is that <laughs> they are UV. So the white ones are quite often UV because that was very big in the 1920s when they were making their jewellery. So we've got a green one, a little white, almost lotus flower shaped one and a opalescent blue one that is a miniature version of a big green one that I found. It's just there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've, yeah, they're beautiful and we absolutely love finding them. We only find them on that beach. So yeah, with these three, that makes 10 Niger Brother beads we've found so far. Not including the, um, these pieces. Oh yeah, not including <laughs> the moon. Oh, okay, so that's... <laughs> There's a few. Um, is that all? I don't know. Okay, so actually 13. Which Ooh, that's was, a bit unlucky. But I was about to say, for most people, but that's my, my lucky number. Okay. Because my birthday's on the 13th. Oh, but is that, was that just a random that's piece? That's just a random okay. piece. So, with the moon, the little pharaoh man, and mum's beautiful faux jade piece, that makes 13. So that means next time we go, we're going to find a complete charm. Oh. So talking about beads. Yeah. <laughs> it's it amazing. This incredible bead that I found, which looks like a blackberry. <laughs> there's, there's no way about it. It looks exactly like a blackberry and it's made really amazingly it's like, it's sort of, yeah, I can't explain. I think it probably is supposed to be a blackberry. I mean, it must, it must, it must, right? Why would they make it black? There are very few black beads we find on this beach because the 1920s, they loved colourful beads. Well, apart beads. from mourning. We apart found from, an awful lot of mourning yeah, buttons. Yeah, mourning buttons. But this seems a bit fancy for a mourning. Yeah, it's a bit frivolous. Yeah, a bit, yeah I'm not sure it would show, yeah, 
Not sure you'd mourn with this funky black <laughs> <No>. shape. <laughs> so yeah, it must be a blackberry. And if it's not, that's what we're saying it is. It just looks it's like gonna go a, on our fancy string. It is. Although I do have blackberry earrings, so oh, I might make jewelry. myself matching a uh, matching necklace to wear with them. Yeah, I've never seen a bead like it. I've never found a bead like it. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. I think it's my if you're going to say favourite bead, one of everything's your favourite when you find it. One of my favourite beads I've ever found. One of my favourite beads I've ever found. Yeah, your scarab beetle surely has yeah, to be your favourite. Yeah, and my trade bead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some beauty, like, yeah. We have some good oh, beads. I Incredible. Absolutely love it. Um, and this beautiful little pressed glass blue clear square bead which I absolutely love it's got a tiny flower in the middle so that's check glass I think this, that one. yeah check glass but I don't think it's niger no it's not niger nigers are usually sort of milk glass yeah sort of I'm opaque not, yeah they don't I've never found a clear no I, no. Don't, I don't I think that's but yeah absolutely wonderful oh sorry I've been cleaning the fines and I <laughs> <laughs> um what about this one ah yes and this very funky space age looking bead and it's difficult to show you when the light's on but it is again UV which is incredible it's, it's the biggest UV bead we've found <laughs> no, looking up at the bead string again maybe we need to have a UV string I think it's the biggest UV bead we've found but yeah I absolutely love the shape of that one it's crazy that's another piece of UV glass there too. Isn't it? Oh yeah, and I found this, and on the day I said that looks UV, but I didn't have the torch. But that's like an applied UV. That's... Yeah, the, the glass it's on isn't UV, but that the, would have been crazy. The blob is, which is incredible. Good for piece of jewelry. Yep, <laughs> it's difficult to show. We'll turn the lights off and show you. Little, I um, found this beautiful little red glass flower bead Ooh. Mm, yes yeah. this wonderful orange red one with white in the middle so i mean it's a trade bead i'm i'm not sure that the white heart ones yeah but it's a bit big i'm not i'm not sure about that one so yes uh we found 31 complete uh, whole beads not including broken ones although some of the broken ones are just barely broken but yeah 31 whole beads we found we found 10 red ones nine blue ones two green ones eight white and clear ones and two black ones and one yellow one <laughs> but yeah this is definitely the best beach for beads we have a plan don't we we do a christmas plan mm -hmm. <laughs> We're getting ahead of this year. Mm. So those were the beads. Mm. Buttons next. Oh, As well, you're going, bees yeah, now. Well, oh. I haven't talked about my watch, oh. which unfortunately we're really struggling to clean. But we have something coming in the post that should help with the cleaning. So we'll have to give you an update. And unfortunately, the it says Swiss made, and then it has a maker's mark, which is a fancy E a fancy K and then a fancy F but I cannot for the life of me find that watchmaker or any examples of this watch which is a real shame because watch has always been on my bucket list and I would really like to know what it would have looked like and unfortunately the face gone. is gone it still has the little um, where the hands would have attached to it but unfortunately the face is gone. Well hopefully when we get the thing that we're waiting for it will come up quite nicely. Yeah and you can still see all the cogs. Yeah it's absolutely incredible. Very excited to find it. It's just such a shame that I can't clean it. Yet. Yet. <laughs> so yeah stay tuned for mm, There may be a whole the... video of that. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of metal that needs to be cleaned this is Mum's incredible navy button with the anchor and the crown on top of it. 
which the design with the crown on top of the anchor, I believe, was introduced in, like, the 1800s. Uh -huh. But this button could be any age. Uh -huh. It's that, I think, it's more Victorian, that bit. Mm -hmm. This is my second favourite. <laughs> little... Oh, naked lady. Oh, naked lady. Which, weirdly... Um, the Northern Mudlarks found a, a big naked lady very similar to this in their recent video. But ours, for some reason, has decided to be more modest and doesn't have... Much of a bottom. Doesn't have a bottom. No. <laughs> but does have the uh, top bit. <laughs> but not a bottom, which is a bit, a bit odd. Mm. That they'd choose modest. <laughs> yeah. I imagine it's probably German bisque. Yeah, I imagine so. Lovely. A doll's leg. I feel like it's been ages since we found a limb. Mm. Which I'm sure isn't true, but we used to find them so much. But the tiny little leg, perfect and ready to be turned into a doll, is my little... Mum thinks it's a motorcyclist, and I think it's just a cyclist. But it does look more like a motorcycle now I'm looking at it. It's just his helmet threw me off. I really like it. It's, it's very, amazing, very cool. isn't it? Know, you feel like I feel like we should sort of make something a base for it and then have like it into a tea light holder or something yeah. so the light shines through it. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. or it could have been like decoration. a perfume. Oh. Mm. It looks like it's made of ice. Yeah, I said Avon in the film, yeah. but um, I can't find... I think find it's a bit too old, yeah, early older than that. that yeah. Yeah. Mum's <laughs> wonderful that glass one. key, which is quite funny because <laughs> it looks... Yeah, we could make a Christmas decoration out, I don't could. know. Also, it looks very similar... To something else to, to something we find in the next film. The picture is something very similar, almost identical to something we something find. Something we never not, found Not before. in the next film. It's not the next film, it's the film after. A couple of films, where we went yesterday. My beautiful piece of glass French jet morning jewelry. I think it's a hair clip. I... Or a, a shoe buckle. They used to clip things like that on their shoes. Oh. Could be a shoe clip. I don't, I don't know the technical term for it. <laughs> But that's what it looks like. It had a clip that went down, and they definitely used to clip things like that on their shoes. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a very funny, odd design. <laughs> oh. We're in here, Sunny. <laughs> Mum's beautiful lime green button with like a square in the middle and then like floral design around it. It's absolutely beautiful. I really like that button. And it's not broken. <laughs> Talking of buttons. You found out there's three bone formers there. So little bone round bone discs and these ones were button forms. So they would have had like thread looped around through the hole until they looked like they were made of fabric. So yeah. Would have been like silk. Mm hmm. So these ones. They would have been green. Yeah. <laughs> these ones aren't a mystery. These bo bone discs aren't mystery bone discs. We know what they were for. And randomly, a piece of Bartman. We don't know if it's a beard or if it's part of the medallion. Hello. Hey, you found us. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh. You really do like to show your <laughs> butt to camera, don't you? <laughs> See you then. I just needed to <laughs> just check where we are, and make sure we're all right. No, he's gonna leave again. A few ha ends of hat pins. A couple of ends of hat pins, some white ones, some black ones. Thank you. Some white ones, some black ones. A beautiful like, chandelier drop, although it's very small. He stood, on the beads. Beads. he stood on the beads. He stood on the beads. Where did that go? 
Yeah. I can see it. Oh gosh, it like flinged off his paw. <sighs> he stood right in the middle of them. Trouble. Count them. How many? Are there thirty left. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> Tiny little flower plant to go in the doll's house, which might be one of our favourite things. So I like. I love it. Ever been <laughs> made it's on this channel? Done really well. Yeah. I mean, it's really simple, but... Mm, yeah, well, but incredibly effective. The red bead, oh, I can yes. do it, I can make some more. The red flower bead, yeah, we're thinking of making another one. And we've got a couple of, got a couple of flower there's buttons. There's like a button, yeah. Yeah, there's, I've got an orange one too. So we can make a whole... Well, we're thinking of one of the extensions for the doll's house being a garden, a rooftop garden, which would be... Amazing. Fun. Maybe like, a, like a little fish like pond. Like a fish and... pond and... Yeah, loads of plants, a little wire bench. Oh, yes. Yeah. A little <laughs> gardening doll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's exciting. I don't know when that will be. <laughs> yeah, we've got lots of plans and not much time to actually do them, but we're working on exciting projects. So, yes, we just have to say a massive thank you to the Manchester Mudlarks. It's going to take us a while to get used to, 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 get used to calling them that. Um, the Manchester Mudlarks, which is a very good name, uh, formerly known as Docking Bay 51, for coming with us to um, our, one of our favourite beaches, one of their favourite beaches too. It was wonderful. Oscar really enjoyed seeing Mick's drone and all of his incredible camera equipment. Protect those beads. <laughs> And it was really wonderful to see them again because we haven't seen them for a whole year. For a whole year, when they were down on the Thames, it was. Yeah, we uh, you can hear in the film that we get quite excited towards the middle because it's just it's a really wonderful experience mudlarking with other people. It it just makes it all. <laughs> it makes the finds more exciting. It makes the whole experience much more exciting. And it's a really wonderful thing that we get to do, and. The Manchester Mudlarks are incredibly lovely people and they're very funny. And this time we got to go to the pub afterwards. Yes. <laughs> we went and sat in a pub garden, which we couldn't do last time they were here. And it was, it was wonderful. And they make really wonderful films. They've, they're doing lots of collaborations with lots of other wonderful YouTubers. They find some really, really nice yeah, things. Yeah, we're very jealous of some of the things they have. Yeah, and they have some really lovely bottle dumps that they go to often where they find incredible treasure. Much bigger than our treasures. I think we need to go to Manchester. I think we need. We're, <laughs> oh, we're due a trip to Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, thank you very much for coming to see us, Sarah and Mick. It was wonderful, and, yeah, we'll come, try and make our way to Manchester soon. And we have to say a massive thank you to Jacqueline Raggedy Pal for her wonderful gift that she sent us. And we have to thank all of our wonderful Ko-fi donors, our wonderful Patreons, everyone that likes, comments and subscribes. We're nearing 12,000, which is very exciting and mind-blowing. And never thought it'd be possible that we'd have that many subscribers. So thank you, each and every one of you. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, <laughs> please. <laughs> another very exciting film next week. Um, back to another be different beach that we really like. And we found some really wonderful things. One thing which is very exciting, which I'm still trying to figure out what it is. So join us next Thursday for that. And I hope you have oh, a wonderful... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we will see you then. Bye! bye. bye. Say bye. Oh, uh, Sunny's found a good place to sit. <laughs> Comfy. No, I want the fork.